five ways that you can lower your blood pressure naturally. Let's jump right in and talk about the elephant in the room or rather the salt in the room. Uh, sodium or salt is one of these things that by cutting back on salt, you can greatly reduce um, your risk for high blood pressure and help keep your blood pressure in control. Sodium is so important. And guys, it's not just the sodium or salt that you put on your food because a lot of my patients say, well, Dr. Cottle, I don't put salt on my food. Well, you may not, but would you believe it or not, a lot of the salt that we get in our diet comes from foods that we eat that are naturally salty. You would never believe some of the foods that have a lot of salt in them. Bread, yeah, bread, believe it or not, has a lot of salt in it. Also, uh, canned soups, sandwiches, um, pizza, tons of salt, as tasty as it might be. Other foods with lots of salt include hot dogs, bacon, um, also cold cuts. Cold cuts are meats that we put on sandwiches. Um, and even sometimes poultry that we get from the store is injected with a sodium or salt solution. Yeah. There's a lot of foods that actually may have a lot of sodium in it and you may not realize. So cutting back on these foods is gonna be super important for reducing your risk for high blood pressure. Oh, and something else that has lots of salt in it that we don't often think about are condiments. Things like ketchup, um, dressings, and things of that nature has a lot of salt in it. Uh, most Americans eat 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day or more. The recommended amount is less than 2,300 milligrams per day, but for those people who are at high risk, it's even less than that. It's less than 1,500 milligrams per day. So guys, you gotta read labels for the foods that you're eating, check the back of the label, and don't forget to look at the serving size to see really how much sodium or salt you're taking in. You wanna keep it underneath those limits, very important. Make sure that you're looking for low sodium or no sodium products in the grocery store. Uh, you can also spice up your food a different way. Instead of using salt, you could do other things like using herbs or spices, maybe even using lemon to kind of zest up or, or other citrus to zest up your uh, the flavor of your foods. But cutting back on salt is one of the definite ways you can help your blood pressure. Other ways very quickly are losing a little bit of weight. Yeah, just losing just a few pounds will make a difference when it comes to your blood pressure. Your blood pressure will go down with losing some weight. So get on the stick, guys. Also, exercising kind of goes along with losing weight, but exercising in and of itself is helpful for blood pressure lowering. Limit the alcohol. Alcohol, yes. Drinking more alcohol than the recommended daily amounts puts you at risk for high blood pressure. Guys, you'll want to only uh, drink alcohol in moderation and according to limitations. It's very important. And finally, uh, the, the last thing that will help you reduce your blood pressure naturally is minimizing stress. I know it's super hard sometimes, but minimizing stress will help lower your blood pressure. Again, all of these things are natural ways to lower your blood pressure. Easy things you can incorporate into your life. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Please share this video if you thought it was. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle and I will see you soon.